Today, guys, we're jumping on the bandwagon to do some brisket smoked queso. Stick around. Cheers. In order for us to get started on our smoked queso, we gotta get our Velveeta cubed up, our Gouda cubed up, and our leftover brisket chopped down to where we can mix it all together in our pan. So we've got our ingredients chopped up. That was uh, a can of hot Rotel, uh, the small can, the regular can of original Rotel, one block of Velveeta, uh, and one wheel of bourbon hickory smoked Gouda. We cubed all that up, got it stuck in the pan, and we're gonna go ahead and throw it on the smoker. That isn't all the ingredients. You gotta stick around to see that final ingredient that we're gonna mix in there to make this thing just perfectly silky, and delicious. So, let's go ahead and get this thing moved over. So we're gonna leave this on the smoker for about 20 to 30 minutes. As you saw, we put a block of Velveeta in there, uh, a wheel of honey, uh, excuse me, hickory bourbon smoked Gouda. Uh, we used a can of hot Rotel, a can of original Rotel, and then as much brisket or whatever meat you want on there as you want. Uh, we used probably right around three quarters of a pound of leftover brisket point from the refrigerator. Stuck it on top, lined the edges with cheese, filled everything else in the middle, and now we're going to check on it every 20 minutes or so and give it a good stir. Remember, stick around. We've got that last ingredient. It's gonna be so crucial to put on there, stir it in so this is silky smooth and absolutely delicious. See you in about 20 minutes. So it's been right about 20 to 25 minutes. Let's go ahead and pop this open, stir this up and see how far along we are. See how smooth that Velveeta is starting to get? Let's go ahead and stir it to try to get that uh, the flavors all merging together already. Notice I left all the juices in the Rotel. That's to help everything merge together. That Gouda, I made the chunks a little bit smaller than the Velveeta. And the reason for that is it's going to take longer for that to break down and uh, really merge and, and, and join together with everything else. So. This is looking really good. It's about where I thought it would be after about 20, 25 minutes. So we'll check it again here in about 10, 15 minutes. And I've got something, a little secret, I wanna to add to it to make it extra delicious. All right guys, now this has been cooking at right around 225 for uh, right around 35 minutes now. So now it's time to add that one ingredient that's gonna help everything kind of merged together all of our flavors merged together cream of chicken soup and mushroom soup so cream of chicken and mushroom soup a lot of people use one or the other I got it together I also saw cream of bacon soup uh, but I couldn't actually find it in the store so we're gonna pop this open and we're gonna stir it up inside of our mix of our dip our queso and let it go for another 10-15 minutes and it's going to be ready to enjoy. Check it out.
especially in that last 12 to 15 minutes. Go ahead and pop this top, take a look how she's doing. Man, perfect. Look how silky that is. Stir that smoke cap in there. Yeah. See how chunky those brisket chunks are? I really like that. Uh, as I'm stirring this, I stir things off the bottom so they don't burn and we're not getting a whole lot of waste. And that's what I was doing throughout the entire cook. This right here is ready to enjoy. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it off. Man, that is just so silky. So to recap, what we did was we took about a pound, maybe three quarters of a pound of chopped brisket, a whole block of Velveeta cheese, an eight ounce wheel of hickory bourbon smoked Gouda, a can of hot Rotel, a can of regular Rotel. We mixed it all together. We smoked it um, at 45 minutes at 225, stirring it halfway through. And then we added one 12 ounce can of chicken mushroom cream soup. Stirred that in, let it set for 10 minutes, let those flavors all merge together. You can smoke it with your favorite smoke, just use charcoal, that'll give it flavor as well. That smoke's gonna get in, you stir it all together, and this is gonna be a smoky queso dip. So let's go ahead and try it out. I got some chips from our local grocery store. Um, I mean, I figure if we're going all out with a queso, we want to go all out and get some good chips too, right? So uh, let's try it out. Cheers. Hot. Dude. You get the smoke on the back end, a little bit of spice. But that creamy cheesiness, from the moment it hits your tongue, it's starting to tongue punch you. That's not right. From the moment it hits your tongue, you get that cheesy, silky, just uh, savoriness. It's delicious. So do this, guys. If you like smoked cheese, if you like that smoked flavor, make sure you throw in some good wood chunks in there with it. If you don't like so much smoke, just use lump charcoal. It'll do just as good without that kick of smoke in the end. Guys, make sure you love one another. Go out there and serve each other, help each other out. Stay clean, quit being nasty, quit spreading this thing around. Drink more water.